Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. I've owned this horrendously smelly and well-worn Russian high-altitude flight suit since 2013. Why did I buy it? Well, I have no idea. After it almost killed me, I still continue to take it around the world with me to take whimsical photographs. And now, it's basically the bane of my existence. Then although I have a love-hate relationship with this stupid thing, I do question how well would it actually work in the event of a sudden spontaneous decompression. So I think it's time I check out a real spacesuit, try it on, and see if it's worth hanging up the old orange spacesuit for something a little more blue. Let's get started. Three, two, one, zero, and Welcome to Houston, Texas, home of NASA's Johnson Space Center, and I'm here to show you guys something really exciting. Boeing flew me and my crew out to check out one of America's next spacesuits. This is one of two brand new spacesuits that a new generation of astronauts will be wearing to space in 2019. In case you missed it, NASA just announced who will be flying on these first commercial crew flights and both Boeing and SpaceX are racing to get their spaceships, their launch sites, and their spacesuits ready to return humans to space from US soil. Despite having virtually zero training, since I doubt playing lots of Kerbal Space Program counts, I've been asked to check out Boeing's super advanced spacesuit. After much anticipation, it's time to put on some space underwear. Well, lucky for me, I'm now, I guess I'm now officially considered an astronaut. <laughs> space ninja. Spacesuit time. Yeah. This is awesome. This is so, can we switch suits? Is there a chance that, like how, can I please just purchase one of these? Yeah, this is, this is what I think of when I think of a 21st century suit. Like something actually lightweight and small. Before I could prod too much at the suit, Boeing's flight crew operations and test engineer, Kavya Kamal Maniapu, came over to answer all my questions. And that's when I noticed something. Blue. Wait, I just ran, <laughs> come here, look at this. Holy crap, you guys, look at that. What? <laughs> You guys are gonna end up making me cry here. That's amazing. We get that a lot, so you can cry. <laughs> you get people weeping. <laughs> Our um, spacesuit uh, is built by David Clark, that have you know many several years of experience in actually building spacesuits, starting mm -hmm. from you know the Apollo and even the recent space shuttle. Mm -hmm. um, what you see, the orange suits that yep. they, astronauts wear. The pumpkin um, suit, the, lovingly called. Mm -hmm. So we have what's called a soft hood. Really you have cool. a neck ring on your spacesuit, yes, right? Yes, it's the worst thing in the entire world. Imagine wearing this. It's like a hoodie. Oh my right? gosh. So it's like really easy to don and doff. Doff is a word? Doff is a word. I'm learning so much already. But that was just the beginning. I found out the suit is 40% lighter than all previous generation suits. Despite being lightweight and featuring that easy to zip helmet, the suit can hold an internal pressure of 3.5 PSI which is the same amount of air you'd have at 10,000 meters or 34,000 feet in altitude. And most impressively, the gloves maintain their dexterity even when fully inflated as well. That's the challenge. They actually say that the gloves are the hardest thing to design and these look really, really slick. This is, look at how thin they are. You guys have probably seen like the, the shots of, uh, you know, Apollo gloves, those EVA suits have these huge, <laughs> crazy puffy fingers and this is, the exact opposite of that, that's that's amazing. But here's where I should offer up some quick clarification. This is a flight suit, which is really only worn inside a spacecraft, like when you actually fly to the International Space Station or return home. Astronauts will still have to wear a full extravehicular activity suit, which have their own life support systems and cooling systems built in if they need to go on a spacewalk. But what this replaces is that orange shuttle era flight suit. And just look at how bulky that thing was. I guess that's about how baggy clothes were back then anyway. David Clark and has partnered with Reebok to come up with this design. It's really lightweight. Oh my god. This is, when you say really lightweight, you're not kidding. This is crazy lightweight. How, what, how heavy are these, do you know? Two pounds. 
two pounds a pair. each. A pair. This, this, both of these feel about as light as my like normal, like Toms even. I swear, this is, these are, cr I don't know how you make these that light. Carbon nanotubes, I'm calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough talking about it. Let's put this thing on. This slides on so easy. After, I've, I might hold the record actually for putting on a, my stupid spacesuit thing. I've probably put that on, what, hundreds of times? This is already much easier than my suit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, good. Let me just work this. Okay. Okay, now what you'll end up doing here, let me get this off. Yep. Is you are going to bend forward, yep. down, and through here with your head. Okay. okay. And slowly roll your shoulders in. Good. Now you can go ahead and slowly stand up and we'll pull this around your hips and guide you. That was so easy. Okay, put that forward for me a couple steps. Okay. <laughs> I'm out to the side, and I'm working these wrinkles out. How's it feel? Amazing. <laughs> so much. Can I hire you guys, please, to replace my seat? <laughs> Look at this. I can't believe <laughs> this is amazing. You'd think at these elbows, it feels like I don't even have anything on. Look at this. <laughs> See all this mobility? I mean, I could actually wear this around the house. And I'll tell you from experience, I've worn my suit for like eight hours at a time, and it's the worst thing ever. I can, I could do this for weeks. I'll just sell my house, because this is basically like your own little house, a mobile house. I'll just live in this from now on. There you go. The hoodie helmet itself doesn't offer much for crash protection, so astronauts will wear a beanie that has a small built-in helmet pad, as well as the communication system to speak with each other and ground control. Dual microphones. Britney Spears would be very jealous. Is that a bad reference? Who's a more modern? Uh, Lady Gaga would be very jealous. No, but she doesn't use one of those things. Who, who else uses Bieber? I don't know. Insert famous person that has one of these. They're jealous right now. I'm wearing the most advanced spacesuit in the world and I'm excited about two microphones. Oh my gosh. That's it? That's it. It goes on so easy. Look at that. Can you reach out completely? Okay, internet, who wants to help me buy one of these? Because I need one of these right now. <laughs> this is, I have all the power in the world. <laughs> this is so great. Do I look as cool as I feel? Do I look 10 times cooler than I feel? Because I feel about as cool as it gets right now. <laughs> How far can I get before they notice I've ran away? <laughs> the car is 200 yards that way. I think I can sprint pretty fast, and then we can drive out. I don't know how fast the security cars are. We have a Camry with a four-cylinder. I think we got pretty good odds. After some intense negotiations with Boeing's social media manager, I found myself suddenly breaking into some pretty... Uh, fantastic dance moves? And just to make this ten times better, I'm going to leave out any music, so all you hear is the awkward wrestling of the microphone against the spacesuit. Wait, no, Ooh, the internet's gonna ruin me now. <laughs> and here's where you might be asking, is the suit hot? Well, after dancing around in it for far too long, yes, it does get a bit hot. But luckily, the suit has an option of being hooked up to ventilation. This is what, that's actually what I've always wanted. This is all a big ploy, because I've always wanted to see what ventilation feels like in a spacesuit. Because I'm used to cooking alive in spacesuits, so this is nothing new. So I'm actually gonna feel what it's like to have air circulating in a space suit. <laughs> you feel, feel the air circulate? Yes, I do now. Oh. Okay. It's like my own personal air conditioning unit. Seriously, I'll never have to leave this. I hope you guys weren't planning on taking this off of me. Now I've got it all. Air conditioning, as long as you can slip some beverages in here and here. You can just live in this. Okay, but in all seriousness, if you can't tell by my smile, Wearing this spacesuit really feels special, and that's when it all sunk in. 
It feels like it's been forever since we last saw astronauts climb inside the space shuttle in 2011, wearing those iconic and bulky orange suits. It feels like a thing of the past. But this? This really feels 21st century. New, high-tech, lightweight, and truly ready for a new generation of space explorers. <laughs> no, no, I'm back at this stupid thing, no. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna replace this thing soon. That made me realize just how much better I could actually have it. If you wanna know why I even have this spacesuit or how I got it, be sure and check out this video where I explain that whole ridiculous story. In an upcoming video, I'm going to take you inside a Starliner and the training simulator to help you learn even more about the upcoming commercial crew program. Thanks to Boeing for sending us down there to check out everything. I say this often, I'm not a big fan of picking teams. I'm team let's explore space. But if you couldn't tell by my face, I really had an amazing time, so thank you. If there's anyone else out there that wants me to check out their spacesuit or upcoming spaceship, hit me up. I definitely caught the bug. I owe a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping make videos like this and all other content possible. As a thanks to those who support this show, I'm now doing giveaways every 100 patrons. It'll always be some kind of flown space material like this, pieces of space shuttle. So if you want some chance to win some actual flown space hardware, or want to hang out in our exclusive subreddit or our exclusive Discord channel, head on over to patreon.com slash everydayastronaut. Thank you. And while you're out there on the grand old internet, head on over to my website everydayastronaut.com where you can find pre-launch previews of all upcoming rocket launches. That's right, you finally don't have to ask me what's going to happen on this upcoming mission on Twitter. You can go there to my website and you can find out, are they going to land this one? Is this one going to recover a fairing? Where's this mission going to? When's it launch? All the things you need to know in one easy to find place. And then while you're there, head on over to my shop and check out my new awesome shirts like this. F1 engine can be on your chest. EverydayAstronaut.com Thanks everybody, that does it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space down to earth for everyday people. Thank you.